Right, we're going to have a look at user variables. So in this short tutorial, we're going to make our own variable. And I think we'll be using getting a user to put their name in. That's a simple one. So on the first slide, in fact, I'm going to make two slides here. On the first slide here, I'm going to put a text entry box. And go, please type your name here. OK. I'm going to turn that into a transparent box. And beside that, I'm going to put a text entry box. Here we go. And make that a little bigger. So you can put your name in it. I don't think we need these the text captions. Um, but I'm going to put a next button on here. So I hit the button, go down to just type in next. Just put that down there. So I'll give them a bit of time to insert the text. Now, uh, what I'm going to do is go to project and go to variables. And now I'm going to add a new variable. And I'm going to call this one name user. Okay. Uh, I can put a description in. This will contain the user's name entered in the text box. Okay, so I'm just going to use that for this one. I'm going to go save, plop, now that goes into the list. Now I will remind you, if I bring up the help, Captivate file help, um, Adobe have reserved um, some variable names, so we can't use one of them being name, okay, so we can't use that. And this is a list over here that Adobe have reserved, so you can't use one of those as your user variable. Okay, we can close that. Select the text box. And over here in the general tab, um, where it says text entry box number four, I can hit that little X, which will bring up the variable box. Now, um, it doesn't give you a drop down list there. So you've got to take note of your variable and its name underscore user. Okay. So we put in their name underscore user go OK so now when somebody types into that text box it's going to be stored by that variable called name underscore user and now let's write another text box we're going to have that transparent come on and I'm going to say welcome and then I'm going to put a space and then we need to insert that variable. So we come down to the format box, click on insert variable. We want user and we want name user and go OK. Make sure you've got the right number of characters selected there just in case somebody's got a big name. Go OK. Welcome, blah, blah, blah. That's what it's going to say um, to this Perez and that's all I'm going to put. Now let's see if it works. So I'm going to press F4 here. And we see at the start it says please type your name here. So I'm going to type my name. You can format that text the way you want it so it looks the same if you like. Press next. And then it'll say, welcome, whatever, I put in the text box to this presentation. How easy is that? So that's just one way you can make a, a user variable. 